Dr. Julie Busby. This is part three on a series of trimming dog's toenails. This is my dog, Zeke, and we're gonna trim black dog toenails, which I know can be very intimidating for people. However, just like the light dog toenails, there are objective landmarks that we can look for so that it's not a guessing game of, of how far we're gonna cut. Obviously, the ultimate goal is that we get a quality nail trim and not hurt the dog in any way. So again, we're gonna pick up the paw and we're gonna make the first cut very vertically. Good boy, Zeke. And I'm gonna start shaving back just like I demonstrated in the previous video. Good boy, Zeke. Good boy. And in the previous video on the light dog nail, we talked about how when we were getting to live tissue, it changed from the white flaky to more of a pink color. And the same here, except for it's going to change to like a, I call it black licorice, a dark color. And that tells me that I'm about as far as I want to go on that nail. But again, it's objective. I can see that and know that, I, that I'm going to stop now. You're okay. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Okay, same thing. I'm shaving backwards like we talked about in the prior video but I'm looking for that landmark when I know, okay, I really can't go any further. I now have, I can, sh I can clean up the edges a little bit more. I can clean up the sides, but I, I just can't take any more off the front of the nail because I've got this black licorice type appearance. Good boy, good boy. And again, one of the reasons I love these nail trimmers is because I have great control compared to the guillotine style nail trimmer. I can literally use them to just shave off what I want to shave off and not have to, and have complete control. Okay, again, back to the black licorice type material. Good boy, Zeke. You're such a good boy. So I can get rid of the white flaky and go back to where I'm actually seeing that darker material that tells me that I'm getting close and I want to stop. That's my landmark right there. The Dewclaw I find the most challenging nail to cut. It's much more difficult to have objective landmarks so I basically just kind of take the point off of the Dewclaw. Try to keep it as short as possible so it doesn't snag on things. And so there we have it. Again, for this dog, it's as short as I can get without causing him any pain. You're okay, buddy. You're all done. So I encourage you to take this information and trim your own dog's toenails. Short nails are key for a dog's posture and gait. And I think it's really easy to kind of let this slide, but I can't stress enough how simple it is to help your dog by keeping his nail short. Thanks.